is part 44 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss the multiple concurrency mode in WCF with examples. This is continuation to part 43, so please watch part 43 before proceeding. When we set the concurrency mode to single, only one thread is allowed to access the service instance. Once this thread 1 has got hold of the service instance, there is an exclusive lock that is acquired, which means no other thread is allowed to access that same service instance. All the other threads trying to access that service instance are blocked and are queued. Once this thread 1 has finished and once it has released the lock, that's when the next thread in the queue can access the service instance. So with single concurrency mode, only one thread is allowed to access um, the same service instance at any given point of time. Now, the WCF service as a whole, is it capable of processing calls concurrently or not? You know, that is also dependent on the service instance context mode and whether the underlying binding supports sessions or not. And that is the case only when the concurrency mode is set to single. Now when we set the concurrency mode to multiple, the service instance context mode and whether the underlying bindings uh, support sessions or not doesn't really have any influence on the capability of the WCF service as a whole to process calls concurrently. We'll look at that in just a bit. Now, with multiple concurrency mode, an exclusive lock is not acquired on the service instance. So obviously this means multiple threads are allowed to access the service instance simultaneously and obviously as a result we're going to get better throughput, that is more work done in a given time. But one thing to keep in mind is that shared resources must be protected from concurrent access by multiple threads to avoid any concurrency related issues. In part 93 of the c -sharp video series, we discussed what happens if shared resources are not protected from concurrent access and how to protect shared resources from concurrent access. Now, when concurrency mode is set to multiple, requests are processed concurrently by the service instance irrespective of the service instance context mode and whether the binding supports sessions or not. But whereas when we set the concurrency mode to single, the WCF service as a whole, you know, is it capable of processing calls concurrently or not, is also dependent on the service instance context mode and the underlying binding, basically, whether the binding is uh, capable of supporting sessions or not. We have seen that in the previous session, but with multiple concurrency mode, they doesn't, you know, really have any influence. Let's actually look at that in action. So we'll be working with the same example that we worked with in the previous session. So here we have our WCF service. At the moment, the concurrency mode is set to single. Let's actually change that to multiple. And, you know, let's set con uh, instance context mode to per call. And if you look at the binding at the moment, we are using basic HTTP binding. Basic HTTP binding doesn't support sessions. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our WCF service. And let's get to our client application. And at the moment, the client application is using basic HTTP binding. So let's go ahead and run the client as well. So here we have the service host vendor. So let's click get even numbers. And let's click get odd numbers now. Okay. Um, let's actually clear results and then try to click them simultaneously. Look at that. Both of them started at the same time. Okay. So since we have set concurrency mode to multiple, you know, the service instance is capable of handling um, calls simultaneously. Okay. Now, if we change the binding to net TCP binding that does support sessions, will the calls be handled concurrently? Absolutely. The underlying binding doesn't really have any influence. Okay. So similarly, when we set the instance context mode to per session or single, and if we have the concurrency mode to multiple, set to multiple, you know, the calls are always processed concurrently, which means we, al we are always going to have positive impact on the throughput. So you can basically change, you know, the instance context mode to whatever you want and the binding to whatever you want and test if that's what is the case. I have already done that and you know when we set the concurrency mode to multiple always 
you know multiple threads are allowed access to the service instance meaning concurrent calls are processed and there's going to be a positive impact on the throughput that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day